It's raining. So this is the house I'm fixing. Uh, it's, uh, it's a fixer-upper. You'll notice that the uh, garden is kind of non-existent. I've got piles of junk everywhere. Uh, lots of cleanup to do this spring. I'm gonna tour around the outside, kind of show you. I wanna, I definitely wanna put in some like really cool gardens here. Do have some bulbs that look like they're coming up there? A little shrub that's starting to get leaves. A lawn I really need to mow. <laughs> um, this is why you don't leave drywall on the lawn. You know, when you're working, you should clean this crap up right away because that's sad. But yeah, I want to put in a little front step here. This is my front door. Um, I'm out in the country, by the way, so fields for miles. This is a, a lilac bush here. I'm going to cut it right back this spring. Um, or after it flowers and we'll see how good it comes back. It'll be pretty cool. All these chunks of cement were a chimney that used to be way up there on the roof that we had to take out because there wasn't even a stove in there anymore and the chimney was just dumping water into the house every time it rained because they never blocked it off. It looks like I've got a few more bulbs coming up there. A couple other things. There's lots of work to do. I want to put a shrub line in from the front corner of this house all the way out to the field uh, because I don't have a backyard. I've got a cool little shed here. It's really well insulated. I think it was like an old milk shed. Let's see, I'll show you what it looks like on the inside. Lots of old windows. Should probably do something cool with those. So yeah, just this cool little shed. It's got some windows. It has outlets in here, but it's not hooked up to a power source. This would be neat to turn into like a little workshop or something. Put some power tools in here. That'd be a cool place to, to put that kind of stuff. Get it hooked onto the, the power. <laughs> Lock. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> so that's pretty neat. Um, I want to put in a little vegetable garden back here. I think that'd be awesome. This spot gets lots of sun. This is this is the extent of my backyard. That's all it is. <laughs> this whole area back here, all the way back to that big huge silo and those shrubs were on it too. Used to be the yard at this house. There actually used to be a really huge old wooden bank barn right by that silo, but a tornado came through this area a few years ago and it, it knocked it down, so we had to tear it out. Um, that barn you see back there is a pig barn. And back here, I do have a little bit of a walkway here that I'm gonna have to clean up. It doesn't really lead anywhere though, <laughs> but eh, whatever, it is what it is. That's my back door that leads into the bathroom. Um, I'll explain that all in a minute. Got uh, my back around to the side we started at. Ooh, this is my patio made of old pig slats. <laughs> I got some work to do. This is my oak tree. Ooh, oak tree, ah. Anyways, let's head inside. Do, do, do. This is my, uh, I don't, I don't know who built this or or why they built this little lean-to. It used to have a storm door, but it uh, got ripped off in a storm. Ta! Let me get some light. Shed a little light on our situation. So this is my kitchen. Clearly a work in progress, like everything in this house. We we'll see on the ceiling here, there's a big gap. There used to be a wall there, and that far room was the kitchen, and it was pretty tiny. Um, and then this room over here was just like a, a dining area or something. <laughs> I don't know. This, this set of cabinets I got uh, was actually only $500, and it's solid oak. I got it at the Habitat for Humanity Restore, which was pretty cool. Um, everything there is really cheap. I got a free dishwasher and a fridge and a stove from my cousin who's also renovating a house. That's where I'm gonna put my fridge, right there. And my stove is going to be where the dishwasher's sitting. Um, and this island here, I'm actually thinking I'm going to put it on wheels, like caster wheels, and I can just kind of move it wherever I want to. That way it doesn't have to be affixed, which I think would be fun. I'm not actually sure where I'm gonna put my sink yet. I'm thinking I'm gonna put it in this unit here, or if I can find a corner sink, I wanna drop it in the corner. Yeah, this whole kitchen layout's a little weird. There's windows everywhere. This is a corn stove that heats my house during the winter. It's pretty nice. Um, I'm gonna show you the bathroom. The bathroom is the sketchiest, spookiest thing. Okay. 
I have not touched this bathroom at all yet. I gutted the entire house and started over, um, but not this. I, I haven't touched this. So, so this is my bathroom. Remember when I said my back door goes to my bathroom? So there is another door here, and then that's my back door there, and there's my furnace and my water heater and all that. Um, there used to be a dryer and a washer here, but the problem with that is then you only have like tiny bit of space to get through here. So I don't know if I'm gonna do that. I'm probably gonna rip this wall out. It is not a load bearing wall. There's my toilets. <laughs> the white one on the left is uh, a new one because the one on the right is broken. This is my tub. It's got jets, which supposedly work. I'm not sure though. I'm gonna be moving this tub because behind this backsplash is a window. Yep. <laughs> And this is where the sink is right now, and it's it leaks. There's not even a proper drain in here. They just kind of siliconed it to the pipe, which is disgusting. This is clearly a used cabinet because the counter has a backsplash there. This is the custom-made <laughs> vanity. You can see this outlet got fried at some point, which is a little, little bit sketchy. And just the bare drywall behind it. Mm -mm. Great, this is quality. It's good stuff. <laughs> but that's why I'm going to be redoing the bathroom. The only reason I haven't gutted it yet is because despite the broken toilet, everything in there still works. Um, so I'm leaving it for last on my to-do list. Upstairs is super sketchy. There's like plaster falling down. It's like a horror movie house up there. I'm not going to cover upstairs in this video just because it's already long enough. Anyways, this is my living room. This is the room I'm probably the most excited about so far. Light switch, light switch. You can see I've got my nice steampunk wallpaper up already. Look at that. Ooh, it's got like a little bit of metallic to it. Oh, it's beautiful. I'm going to be putting wainscoting up on the bottom third of the wall. This is the wainscoting I've got here. I stained it and treated it. It's all ready to go up. I just haven't got around to cutting it and getting it up yet. And the reason I haven't got around to that is because I've been working on this. I'm making a mural, obviously. This looks like a mural. It's from an old technical drawing of a pocket watch, an Elgin pocket watch specifically. This is it here on my projector. I turn my projector on and I'll show you. Da 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 da! So this is how much stuff I still have left to do. I've already put in about eight or nine hours into this thing, I think. it's pretty slow going. I'm not looking forward to doing everything down here. Like That's, that's going to take me a while. <laughs> I have so many tales of woes from this room, but I'm not going to cover them right now. Just kind of giving you a tour of the house in this video. In another video, I'll maybe outline all the rooms individually and all the troubles I've gone through with them. So that's the living room so far, thus far, thusly. This is going to be my craft room and my sewing room. It's painted white because, you know, craft room, it's good to have white walls, that way uh, you don't reflect odd colors and it makes everything seem kind of off when you're looking at it and when you get it out into natural daylight, you're like, oh no, my colors. The wallpaper in here though is a textured wallpaper that is paintable. It's really cool. I figured if I had to paint this room white, I might as well make it interesting. I actually don't have the wallpaper on every wall. Um, you can see here it's not on this wall. I actually just have it on this wall and then the opposite wall over here, which has an archway in it. We'll go into that room in a minute. I have some cabinets up here. They were extra cabinets from the kitchen set that I had bought. I painted the base of them white, and the cabinet doors look like this. They're a nice light gray color, and it's got a chalkboard in the middle, which will be really fun. I'm gonna put some kind of steampunk knobs on there. Over on this wall, I've got a junction box, which I'm going to build my own swing arm steampunk lamp thing to affix to that because that would be really cool I think. For the time being this room here that we're in now, so let me get the light. Do, 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 do. Boop. So this room here is going to be my bedroom for the time being. This is the original trim that came out of this room. It kind of got left outside over the winter so it's not faring so well. This cabinet was added in at some point. It's just plywood that's stained. I'm leaving it because if I rip it out it's all plaster in there and I found out the hard way while renovating this house that I'm allergic to plaster. Um, so I have the ceiling done in this room. That's about the only thing I have done. I really love the ceiling. It's like a fake plastic tin tile 
that makes sense. But my ceiling is the favorite part of this room and the light fixture, which I got for free from a friend. It's got this cool little nook under the stairs that I want to turn into like a reading nook or something. It's got a nice view out the window. It's east facing, so I imagine I'd have some pretty sunsets out there. I actually don't know what I'm going to do in this bedroom yet. I have no plans for it other than I kind of want to do it like black and white theme, you know? So probably going to paint that black or white or something. One of the two. <laughs> but yeah, so trying to steampunk everything. The craft room is actually the closest thing to complete. I just got to paint the trim, put it up, put the cabinet doors on, and then get the flooring in. The flooring I've ordered is like a, a light gray like la laminate. I didn't, I went, I went with the cheapest floor I could find because I'm probably going to be pretty hard on that floor so I don't care if it like you know gets scratched up that way. This room I'm pretty excited about. I'm gonna put some like really big crown molding in here. It's, it's gonna be pretty. It's gonna be a pretty room. Don't know what I'm gonna do for flooring in here yet. Hardwood would be nice but not for my wallet. This is a 300 square foot room. Hardwood flooring is not cheap. But yeah, that's that's this. This is the house I'm going to be steampunking. So I'm hoping with my starting this channel and doing, uh, you know, tutorials and vlogs and all that kind of thing that you guys can kind of see the process as I go through it. For the rest of the mural, I actually want to record myself doing it. I'll probably set up my camera over here or something and just do like a, a time lapse showing me painting it on the wall with a paint pen. Uh, which I think would be kind of fun and then I want to record just like various stages of the process of getting everything done and making it steampunk and I want to share tips and tricks for kind of easy stuff you can do to steampunk your own rooms and spaces and homes and whatever because I think that would be kind of a neat thing I've always wanted to have a steampunk house and when this opportunity came up for me to to renovate this house and do whatever I want with it I was so happy. <laughs> uh, like it's been a hell of a process. I've been working on this for two years, um, on and off. Not if if it was continuous, I'd probably be done by now, to be honest. But yeah, it's it's been a lot of work. It's coming along, I think. Maybe. I don't know. <laughs> I really don't know what I'm gonna do in this kitchen yet. I kind of know, but but I'm not set on it. So again, just as I'm doing things, I'll record the process, upload videos. If you guys have any feedback or suggestions at any point along the process, I am more than welcome to them. I love getting ideas because, you know, I can't think of everything myself. If I could, I'd be way smarter and have a way better job and be doing way cooler stuff with my life, you know? <laughs> Anyways, uh, my battery's about to die, so I'm going to leave you guys to it. Thank you for coming to my house. Get out.